So you reached your weight loss goal with keto. Now what? How do you adjust your macros? Do we go back to a high carb diet? Well, let me see here. No. Now you can increase your carbs from let's say 20, 30 grams per day to maybe 50, but don't go over 50 grams because that's going to stop everything from working. Do you start increasing your protein? No, because that too can create a modest increase in insulin. And that can also stop your ability to get into ketosis. And uh, it's a little bit variable, but anywhere between, I'd say maybe 85, 90 grams to 150 grams of protein per day. Now, this is going to vary based on your age, how many meals per day you're going to consume. Obviously, if you're doing OMAD, one meal a day, you're not going to consume 90 grams of protein in that one meal. But the big variable is fat. So when you start keto, you want to increase your fat for the purpose of feeling satisfied so you can fast longer because we're trying to do two things at once. We're trying to do keto and intermittent fasting. But when you're starting out, it's difficult because you haven't adapted yet. So you're hungry more frequently. And so we want to start lowering your carbs and going longer and longer before you eat again. To do that, you really need to increase your fat. But very soon, with maybe within three, four days to five days, you're not going to be hungry. You're going to be able to fast longer. You're not going to have cravings like you did before. And let's say, for example, you're trying to lose weight, right? And you have a slow metabolism. So you're still eating a lot of fat. What's going to happen? Your body is just going to use those fat calories as your fuel and less of your own stored body fat. So at this point, you may want to reduce your fat, especially if you're trying to lose weight and you're not seeing the results. So this means cutting out the fat from the Bulletproof coffee. This means cutting out the keto desserts. This means that only consuming the fat that normally comes with protein. So what you're doing is you're forcing your body to use your stored fat. So that's what you want to do roughly, you know, between the first and second week. So you're going along, you're losing weight, everything's working great. And then at some point, you're going to hit your ideal goal with weight. Now what? What do we do? There's been quite a few people who complain that they're now losing too much weight. So we want to maintain their weight. And you do this not by increasing your carbs, not by increasing your protein. We do it by increasing your fat. And this is the kind of the wild card because for some people, it's a lot more. For some people, it's a lot less. So what we want to do is we want to increase the dietary fat to equal the amount of fat burning. Now, how are you going to know you're consuming enough fat? Well, you're not going to be losing any more weight. That's number one. So let's say, for example, on a given day, you're consuming 2,800 calories, okay? You may want to consume like 200 grams of fat. That's like 1,800 calories of fat. But I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of what you should be doing. Initially, high fat. Okay, so then when you start getting into ketosis, lower the fat. If you're having a hard time losing weight, ride the wave until you hit your ideal goal, then start increasing it. Now, increasing your fat only works if you keep your carbs low. The worst thing you can do with all these fat calories is also increase your other calories from carbs or even protein. That's when you're going to run into trouble because you're going to start storing these carbs as fat and that fat is not going to be used as fuel.